chip of the day. Uh, the chip of the day is an MGA-82563. Doesn't really fall off the tongue, but uh, it's part uh, from my old stomping grounds of Vago. Uh, there's various companies got uh, smushed around and Avago ended up with the microwave type uh, components and stuff. I don't remember the whole history now. It's been a while. But anyway, this is a, uh, a, a 100 megahertz to 6 gigahertz 17 dBm amplifier. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's see here. Yeah, puts out plus 17 dBm at 2 gigahertz. Uh, three volt supply. It has a gain of uh, 13. Okay, gain of 13. That's good to know. All right, so uh, we can take a look at the block diagram, which is there's an input and output and a ground, and that's it. It's it's a it's a uh, probably a gallium arsenide FET. Yeah, gallium arsenide. It's a mimic. Um, so why do I want to talk about these? Uh, well, they had them at the, at the store, um, and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so I bought I bought some at the store. They were I think sixty five cents each, so they were quite reasonable. And I thought what I would do was I would buy them, and then I'll do a project here on the channel, which is to build an amplifier. And I know a lot of people will be interested in this. So uh, what we will be doing is. Uh, laying out a little board, and it will look similar to it will look similar to this. Um, this is a, a application circuit that uh, Avago did. So there's input output, and then uh, plus V over here. Um, and uh, this is the schematic for that. For that, there's a. Uh, Capacitor on the input, capacitor on the uh, capacitor on the output, and then you bring in the biasing of the uh, of the transistor through uh, through this line here. That's very very common, and then you need a uh, a choke here. This is a radio frequency choke um, inductor to keep to keep the the microwave going this way. You don't want them to go that way into your power supply. This this is a blocking, so it blocks the AC or the RF, and it passes the DC. So that's what's that's what's going on there. All right. So here it is. Here's the input capacitor. Here's the output capacitor. And something pointless. My fat fingers aren't in the way. So the input capacitor, output capacitor. These are SMA connectors, and then in order to get uh, these are grounds. These two little things here are grounds. We'll talk about those. In order to get the DC into this thing, it comes here, it gets filtered, it comes along this trace, and then it gets filtered again. And then here is a little uh, 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 inductor. So that's the inductor there. All right. So I needed inductors too. So I bought them while I was there. And I'm not quite sure what value inductor to use. Um, I sort of looked around for similar circuits people have done. And I think basically the rule of thumb is you need about a microhenry for a gigahertz and uh, 10 microhenries for 100, for one tenth of that for 100 megahertz. So I bought both of them and uh, I got them in 1210 packages. Uh, this little guy is in a really weird package. Um, let's see what oh, I've never seen this before. This is a um, blah 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 blah. SOT six uh, SOT three six three. Yeah, SOT three six three, and they be tiny. Yeah, they be tiny. So let's uh, see if we can't pull one out and quickly lose it on the floor. Let's see if we can accomplish that. All right, let me try to, there we go. Let's get one of them out. Ooh, look at how small that thing is. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So it's smaller than, I think it's smaller than an SOT23. I can't even turn it. Is it upside, yeah, it's still upside down. I want to flip it over. Ah. Boy, these things are hard to uh, hard to flip around. There we go. Now it's in its 
Now it's right. But look at the fine little pitches on that guy. Wow. Now I may have a board that actually can use that. Let me let me look. Okay, I have this proto board that I sell over at uh, PCB Way, and um, when I was laying out this board, I asked my friends what they would like to see on this board, what, what, what would be valuable to them. And one of the things that was added was this little ground plane section here to do dead bug type of stuff. And I added some little surface mount things. And I added this, and I don't know why I added that, but I think that is exactly... That is exactly the right size. Wow. So I think we have a proto board. It flipped upside down again. It likes to do that. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Wow. Okay, so at least we'll be able to prototype it. I'm going to lay out a, a real PC board that's all impedance controlled and everything, but uh, I will at least be able to turn it on with this and. Uh, Give one of them a try right from the get-go. That's pretty cool. Can you see that? It's awful tiny. All right, so where can I put this and I'm not gonna lose it. I'll put it back in the bag, I guess. Where'd my bag go? I've lost my bag. Oh, here it is. All right, boy, I might have to go buy some more of these. <laughs> I think a lot of them are gonna end up places I will never find again. So we'll put this back in the bag. Put this little guy back in. Oops, see, I just did it. I just did it. I flicked him. Oh, here he is. He went way over. He went way over here. See him? See him? See him? Yeah, it's way, it's way up there. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, grab this little sucker. Uh-oh. Nope. That's lint. <laughs> That's lint. <laughs> All right. I've lost one of them, and I've mistaken him for lint. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I found a screw, though. I was looking for that screw. Um, <laughs> oh, man. You think I'll find him? You think I'll find him? He kind of flipped. Oh, I think he's gone forever. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Chip of the day. <laughs> chip of the day. <laughs> At least part one. But chip of the day, it was a uh, MGA 824. Five six three. He's around somewhere. Oh man, <laughs> I'll take a look.